taking successful electronic fingerprints. Submitting an acceptable set of fingerprints is vital to the security clearance process. Submitting an unacceptable set to OPM may slow down the process or even result in having the investigation returned. This video will provide you with some helpful hints as well as show you common errors that you may encounter while using an electronic fingerprint machine. For specific procedures on your particular fingerprinting system, talk to your local subject matter expert or SME or your system manufacturer. The first two helpful tips are for before you even begin the actual fingerprinting process. First, make sure that your machine is calibrated correctly. Most machines will let you know when they are in need of calibration. Ask your SME or manufacturer for details on how and when you should recalibrate your machine. Second, ensure that you correctly enter all of the required data, such as name, Social Security Number, SSN, Date of Birth, DOB, Submitting Office Number, SON, Submitting Office Identifier, SOI, and Place of Birth, POB. Remember, if your subject was born in the United States, you must enter their state of birth. Taking a great set of fingerprints won't mean much if they don't match up with the submitted investigation. Now, before we actually take any fingerprints, let's start with a little fingerprinting 101. While no two sets of fingerprints are the same, there are three main fingerprint patterns that you will encounter. They are arches, loops, and whorls. Your primary objective as the fingerprint technician is to ensure that you capture the center of these patterns when fingerprinting. The fingerprinting process is made up of two types of fingerprints, the slaps and the rolling prints. A slap occurs when you press the fingers down on the printing surface and capture the image. The rolling prints result from rolling the finger across the printing surface. For slaps, try your best not to exceed a 45 degree angle. Also, make sure that all of the fingers are flat and that the center of the actual print is captured. For rolling prints, ensure that you roll from nail to nail and that the finger stays in contact with the surface throughout the entire roll. Most machines compare the slaps to the rolls to make sure that you are fingerprinting the correct fingers throughout the process. This comparison is sometimes shown as a score and is usually adjustable in the software. However, keep in mind, the lower the acceptable threshold, the higher the likelihood of an OPM rejection. Now, let's start fingerprinting. Sometimes, having helpful items around will ensure a smooth fingerprinting experience. Some items will help you capture the image such as hand lotion, ridge builder, a small spray bottle filled with water, and some paper towels. Other items will be needed to clean your machine, such as glass cleaner or a machine-specific cleaning kit. Check with your manufacturer to see if they have suggested items to help you fingerprint and or clean your particular machine. Common fingerprinting errors. Unfortunately, not every fingerprint you take is going to be perfect every time. Here are a few common errors that you may encounter, as well as some simple fixes. Slippage. This can occur if the subject's fingers are too moist, or if you rolled the finger too quickly. First, try to recapture the print by slowing down. If you still get the same error, simply ask your subject to dry off their fingertips and make another attempt. Roll not wide enough. The usual culprit here is if you accidentally stopped the roll too soon or if the finger being printed lost contact with the surface. Go ahead and make another attempt. Be sure that you roll nail to nail and maintain contact with the printing surface. Poor image quality. This usually happens when the subject's hands are a little too dry or not enough pressure was applied. Try spraying a little water or whatever product your agency may use 
to add moisture to the subject's hands and apply a little bit more pressure through the roll. Incorrect finger. If this error appears, just make sure that you are in fact printing the finger that the machine is expecting. If you still get this error, sometimes retaking the slaps will fix this error. Poor minutia. This is one of the more complicated errors. Usually, this happens if you apply too much pressure or the ridges and valleys of the subject's fingerprints are too close for the machine to identify. If you believe that you applied too much pressure, then try retaking the image with less pressure. If you believe that it's due to the composition of your subject's fingerprints, then try this technique. Spray the subject's fingertips with a little water. Apply just enough pressure to see the image. Then roll the finger very slowly. This will cause the image to darken through the exposure as opposed to pressure. Fingerprint missing. Make sure that all required fingerprints are taken. If you simply miss the print, then go back and take the image. Should your participant be missing a finger, speak to your local SME as to how your machine annotates such an instance. Despite all of your efforts, sometimes you may not be able to get an acceptable fingerprint image. If you should continue to receive unacceptable images, find out what your agency's policy is before you override the image. Using these helpful tips can help you take the best fingerprint images in the least amount of time. To recap, remember, make sure that your machine is properly calibrated, that all required data has been correctly entered, and that you have provided all images required. All fingers flat for the slaps, nail to nail for the rolling prints. Remember, live scan machines may have different specific procedures. Talk to your local SME and or manufacturer for details about your particular machine.